We'll now proceed to the regularly scheduled Citizens to be Heard. And same, I will call the first name up on the list. If you can, I'll also call the next person in line if you can be prepared to come forward because we do have quite a few people who would like to speak. So, I know we have a very distinguished guest, and I'm going to call him first, if, if you all don't mind. Uh, and that is our, our very dear Archbishop, Gustavo Garcia Castillo. before you today in that spirit of those first Franciscans, missionaries, who arrived three centuries ago to bring the gospel message of love and care for the poor and marginalized. They brought not only the faith, but also a commitment to education that would provide a more stable way of life for the native people who were already here and those who would come later. My hopes and concerns are the same in the context of today. I applaud the plans of Mayor Nuremberg and the Council that aim at the beginning new sustainable life for our beautiful city. I also support the expansion of downtown UTSA campus and the increased access to education that it will provide. At the same time, I am deeply concerned for the residents who live nearby. They have lived simply and with pride in their homes, which have belonged in their families for decades. And they have forged strong neighborhoods caring for and helping one another. I am very concerned about information I have been hearing from parishioners in these neighborhoods. Over the past three years, some have seen the value of their houses grew dramatically, and their property taxes increased by 50, 70, and 200 percent or more. Others find themselves harassed by real estate speculators who report a threat of COVID violations, pressing them to sell their homes. Many of these residents live on fixed incomes, disability support, limited pensions, and so forth. Then, they no longer afford to remain in their homes. And so, some have had to sell their houses and move out of their long-time neighborhoods. At the same time, the city has extended tax rebates, fee reductions, and offered financial incentives to developers. However, when homeowners improve their residents, their taxes go up even more. We need a plan to help homeowners keep their homes as a plan to help those who have already been displaced. But that means that these neighborhoods have already been disrupted, and they no longer have the support and sense of security they once enjoyed. So today, Mayor Nuremberg and members of the City Council, I come before you both as a citizen and as a faith leader of Roman Catholics who live in our city. I ask that you act with urgency to address the effects of the indirect displacement of our poor and vulnerable citizens. I am very aware of the complexity of the issue. I am confident that you and your staff 
have the information you need, as well as the heart and creativity to find solutions you need, as well as the heart and creativity to find the solutions that support both the continued growth of our city and the needs of our citizens. Please don't delay. Act now to protect our citizens and help them keep their homes. Gospel values and needs of the poor and vulnerable led me to present this request to you. Thank you for listening to my concerns. We commend you for your actions this week in prioritizing displacement prevention. This is a step in the right direction, but we are concerned about the implementation timeline. In yesterday, yesterday's media report, city staff stated that it would take 12 to 18 months to complete a root cause study. Why do we need another study? The city used Half a million dollars worth of data for the Mayor's Housing Task Force, the city funded an LCAP's neighborhood vulnerability study. Developers said they needed incentives to keep building, and you, the city council, gave you the money. That's right. Neighborhoods are being disrupted now. Displacement is happening now. We need action now. should implement the recommendations. We do not even need a study, we need action. Do we want to become Austin, Seattle, or any other major city where even a six-figure income is not enough? Today we gave you some recommendations. They come from studies conducted by the University of Austin, of Texas in Austin. Put these recommendations into you. Use the data from LPF study or the mayor's your housing task force to create a displacement prevention policy now. It can be studied and adjusted as needed. For too long, the city of San Antonio has engaged in development practices that focus on the dollar, not the people. People like the ones gathered here. The city loves the economic impact of programs like CCHIP without asking about the human cost. It is time for the city to refocus its priorities on people. It is time for the decade of neighborhoods. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We hear you loud and clear.